Deborah Carden, Education Director, Jewish Museum of Maryland. I would say one of the key steps for us was to create an accessibility um, policy committee that included members of staff, including our museum's executive director, um, members of our board of trustees, volunteers, also just experts from various fields in the, the field of, um, of accessibility. And this was really critical because for me it meant that I wasn't just working on this by myself and I really did not have much background in working in this area. So I felt that I had at my disposal some experts. Also it meant that I had the buy-in from our director and from our board of trustees, which was critical before really doing anything beyond that, and there was a real recognition that we needed to start including in our budget funding for um, improvements to our facilities and to improving accessibility. And I also started communicating with our volunteers, which, of course, you know, as a very small museum, it's our volunteers who are really provide the only contact that we have with, um, with our visitors. And then I was connected with AEB, um, and that was just tremendously helpful because there was a real recognition that we didn't have a huge budget to dedicate to this initiative. So at um, Nina's suggestion, I just started doing a survey of what we currently offer, um, particularly for our school groups, and so many of our programs for school groups include uh, reproduced objects that can be touched, textiles, Jewish ritual objects. So we've started incorporating some of these materials in our tours, and that was helpful because we didn't have to really start anything from scratch. I also hired an intern to work on research projects in the education department, and she herself has a visual impairment, and she expressed an interest in working on this initiative with me, um, and she was just very eager to help us get started, and that um, really provided another huge impetus. And she worked closely with Nina to develop a series of training programs for our docents. And before we did this, she actually, Robin, was um, just very ingenious about using some of our local resources. So she, at her suggestion, we invited a, um, several groups of um, visitors from the Maryland School for the Blind to come and visit our facility over the summer. And um, that really gave us a lot of feedback about how we can improve our services. Um, and Robin brought in her uh, Braille writer and um, created some wonderful labels to put on the backs of photographs that we can now make available. Um, we also thought about how we can incorporate touchables at different um, places during our tours. And then we worked with AEB to create a series of two training workshops. In the interest of, um, of budgetary realities, Robin led the first training se um, session, and she provided an overview of sort of an overview of disability awareness, and she also brought in the simulators and the canes. So we were able to really practice our techniques for guiding visitors um, and for you know just sort of gaining an understanding of um, the different kinds of disabilities. And then we brought in AEB to lead the second part of the training. And the one thing that I would say that was sort of an unintended consequence of the trainings is that I opened it up to the entire staff, to our security guard, to our custodian, to all of our volunteers. And I would say about 75% of our staff chose to attend, even um, you know people who don't really have much contact with the public. That was just so validating because it said it sent a message that this is something that everyone on staff is on board with. This is we really feel is important for everybody to be well versed on. So if it's somebody answering the phones, if it's somebody working in the gift shop, that everybody really has a certain level of comfort. So I thought that was um, that was something that was exciting. And then on our second training session, we focused almost exclusively on verbal description, which um, was very important. We actually went into the synagogues and tried to think about how to describe a physical space, how to describe the various architectural elements of the buildings. Um, AEB provided us with some tactile diagrams, which um, were very helpful in thinking of in terms of architectural elements. 